big story right here in town. The Iowa Republican Party's Lincoln Dinner. It's an annual event, but this one uh, making national headlines. 13 presidential candidates here in Des Moines. Former President Donald Trump just wrapping up his speech moments ago. For some candidates, tonight's event could be a make or break for their campaigns, albeit early in the cycle. WHO 13's Taj Simmons shows us how the candidates are rallying supports to appear on the debate stage, which is yet to come. But first, the event itself. Zach Fisher, you are there as the candidates made their pitch to Iowa voters and really trying to differentiate themselves from the pack at this point. Yeah, well, I said, let's just make one thing clear here too. Each candidate had 10 minutes on their own to speak. It didn't matter if you were the former president, if you were running for office for the very first time. 10 minutes and the mics were shut off and you couldn't hear them anymore. I guess we'll just take a look behind me here too. Uh, we got uh, some voters. These are like the reception suites. We got uh, former President Trump's reception suite right here. He's got, I guess, Froyo and stuff that are giving out too with uh, Senator Scott's down the way and Vivek right across the hallway here. So that's what's going on here. But I guess we'll just show you some highlights uh, from the uh, two and a half hours of speeches right now. We're beating Biden 43-39 while DeSantis is losing to Biden 33-38. In other polls, I'm leading Biden by 6, 7, 8, and 11 points, while DeSantis is losing to Biden in all cases. Are you ready to send Joe Biden back to his basement in Delaware on a permanent vacation? I can promise you this, in my White House, there will be no cocaine allowed in the White House. Donald Trump is running to stay out of prison. But in order to protect America, we must also protect our southern border. We must build the wall. When I leave office, when I will tell you that once again in the United States of America, we have three branches of government, not four. We shut down the deep state and the administrative state. So the last one, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, Ohio businessman, one right before uh, U.S. Senator Tim Scott. And the gentleman right before is Will Hurd. He's, he's a lesser-known candidate from San Antonio, Texas, running for president. He's one of the smaller candidates on the stage here, too. And that was him. Uh, he actually got booed quite a lot for, for talking like that about the former president and actually didn't take up his full time. One of the only candidates that left two to three minutes hanging there. You've seen Trump walk out. Uh, on the stage. He was the last speaker. So uh, afterwards, I took the chance to talk to a couple voters to see if their mind could be swayed, some opinions they had. And I talked to one specific voter who's a DeSantis supporter who talks about uh, the former president talking about those poll numbers we just heard. Numbers can change. Poll numbers are sometimes twisted. And I'm not sure that the end, and of course, in the end, the poll numbers may be poll numbers now, but the, the elections are very much fluid and that changes. So I think there's a good chance that by the time the election comes, that may very, very well not be the case. It had to be Vivek, I think. I, I, I like the way he talks and I like his energy and his youth. And the lady right there at the end, actually, uh, Omaha, she's not an Iowa voter, so she'll be voting in the Nebraska primary. Voted for Trump only in 2020. She had a Trump flag and everything. But I asked her, hey, who, who won the day for you, too? And Vivek, and that's, uh, that's a lot of the opinions of people here. Vivek, Tim Scott are, are some of these guys that are getting some traction here in this state, or at least by some of the voters I'm talking to, Elias. Uh, it certainly counts when you have 13 to hear from when they're bringing up names. Yeah. All right, Zach Fisher, thank you for being there for us tonight. We want to check in with Taj Shimmer.